Days of sunshine, albeit a little chilly, but it is January after all. But that is subject to change as we approach the weekend, Allison Pryor. It is, and we're already going to actually see a difference for the day today, and you'll notice that just stepping outside this morning. Yes, there's a chill in the air, but notice these temperatures. Most locations are above freezing from Cleveland to Chattanooga to Dalton in the mid 30s, Southern Walker County, Altamont, both coming in in the low 40s. We still do have 20s off to the east in Cherokee County and probably into Fannin County and portions of Polk County as well this morning. But overall, about 5 to 10 degrees warmer than what we were yesterday. That's because we've had clouds moving in during the overnight hours. So generally, as we're looking at our hour by hour forecast for this Thursday, do expect more clouds today. Now you're still going to get some sunshine too. So kind of intervals of clouds and sun, that mixture together, and it'll still be kind of, I'm not going to say warm, it is January after all, but a little bit warmer today compared to what it was Monday and Tuesday. Afternoon highs today, generally spending it from about 50 to 55 degrees across the area. Now that all being said there is going to be a cold front that comes through this evening and it will bring us a brief window of time from about 4 to 8 p.m. of a couple of isolated showers. Now any of those showers really should be very light. In fact for some locations that pick up that rainfall it may only be some sprinkles for you but at least this gives you a window idea of when we can expect that and then clouds will be breaking up and clearing out as we head later into tonight 9 10 11 o'clock. So let's all take a look at that then with our current clouds and radar. Certainly nothing showing up on radar here locally. You can see those clouds pushing through across our area, a few breaks moving into Middle Tennessee, but again, that's going to wave through our region, causing that kind of intervals of sun and clouds. We've been keeping an eye on all morning long some showers developing in Iowa. We're now seeing more of that into northern portions of Missouri. This is a system that's going to swing down and bring us those isolated shower chances later on for the day today. Now, Friday, generally quiet weather. Of course, the big kind of weather system we've been talking about for the past couple of days is what's going to happen this weekend, and it's just about to come in onto shore in the Pacific North. Northwest, that low pressure system, so already getting a little bit of rain closer to Portland and in the Seattle area. Once that does come ashore, we're going to start to get more observations and data from it, and hopefully at that point, our models will start to align a little bit more. So there still is certainly uncertainty as we head into the weekend of what exactly will happen, but let's run through our current data for future cast and kind of break that down. So for the day today, this is showing about midday, close to 11 a.m., seeing some spots with some more clouds, other areas getting a little bit more sunshine, but still dry at that point in time. Wind from the southwest then, but it'll shift and come out of the west for the afternoon. Here comes that cold front draping through our area late afternoon through evening, bringing the chance for a couple of isolated showers. Again, very light, pretty much less than a tenth of an inch. As colder air moves in for tonight, there will be a slim chance that we may see a few flurries in our eastern mountains, but overall that will be more likely further to the north of us up into the Smokies. The bigger deal will just be the fact that cooler air is going to arrive, which means Friday you're going to have that mix of sun and clouds again, but your high temperatures only in the 40s. Here comes the system for the weekend then. So let's take a pause here at Saturday morning. There's certainly already precipitation ongoing, but notice most of that staying to the north of us, pretty much north of I-40 as well. So there may be a stray shower in the daytime of Saturday, but generally you'll have dry conditions if you need to do something outside. It'll be Saturday evening that we're looking at this rain moving across our region. Now at this point we've been talking about how there's a low pressure system. It may kind of track a little bit to the northwest, may swing down a little bit to the south. Our new data is indicating that it becomes what we call an occluded front. So we end up getting two different lows developing. So this is early on Sunday morning. You'll notice most of the area still in the green. We had that wintry mix of snow off to the east for Cherokee County, Fannin, Gilmer, even into Murray counties as well for those higher elevations. Now, as this continues to push through across the area, unfortunately, when you have this system developing like that, it ends up keeping our temperatures a little bit warmer and keeps some of the moisture away from the region. So then you're relying on that backside, having that transition of colder air, that residual moisture, and then seeing that wintry mix of snow. So that's showing about Sunday afternoon. Now again, this is likely still going to change, but just wanted to show you kind of that current setup and thinking for this event. So I think Saturday, especially Saturday night, rain. Sunday is the day to now watch for for that potential for that wintry mix. By the time we get to Sunday night and Monday morning, it's going to be all about that cold air, which also means Monday morning we will have to watch out for the potential of patchy black ice as you're heading back to work and school. Today, though, None of those worries. Certainly well above freezing point for our high temperatures today. 55 in Chattanooga, 48 in Altamont, 53 in Cleveland. More clouds and just that spotty shower chance. And then tonight, clearing skies will be near that freezing point. So a few spots below freezing while we're above freezing here in Chattanooga at 34 degrees. 48 for your high on Friday, 50 on Saturday, and then 42 on Sunday with kind of temperatures falling through the day as it'll get colder and colder.
kind of want to prepare.